reliable base of energy, an issue discussed from Washington, D.C. all the way to Coal Strip, Montana today. Through heavy handed regulations, litigation and some state policies, the future of this plant is actually at risk. Senator Steve Daines tells U.S. lawmakers today coal-fired generation plants must be part of our future energy plan because extreme cold and heat demand it. Now, coal may, coal may be more important to Rosebud County than anywhere else in the state, but half of the coal strip power complex will soon shut down. As Q2's Jay Cohn reports, that reality leaves the community with some big decisions. With coal strip units one and two, the oldest of the power plants now facing a shutdown date in just four years, the focus here now is on the future and what that might hold. I don't want to see us fail. I don't want to see this town go under. I want to see us thrive. Again. So for me, it would be carbon capture. State Senator Dwayne Ankney arranged Tuesday's informal meeting among community leaders here to explore ideas on how to use $10 million in community impact funds set aside by Puget Sound Energy. PSC owns half of the coal strip plants one and two, and as part of its latest rate case in Washington state, agreed to put this money aside to help the county, the city, and the region transition to its new future. Change is inevitable, and that's what usually is a better outcome if you stay positive and don't just wish for what, what you had in the past because we've got to change and keep up with the times, and apparently this was part of a deal that we had no hand in, and so um, we may as well be positive and hope for a better outcome. Those community impact dollars will become available at the end of this year, so the time for planning is now. Next Monday, Governor Bullock and Attorney General Tim Fox will be in Coal Strip to convene the first meeting of the Coal Strip Advisory Group, the first of many discussions to address the region's changing economic climate. Jay Cohn, MTN News, Coal Strip. All right, thanks so much, Jay. The Coal Strip Advisory Group includes representatives from state and local governments, union leaders, as well as officials from Puget Sound Energy and the State Departments of Labor, Commerce, and Environmental Quality.